Hey everybody, it is uh, Mark again, Colorado Sasquatch Research, September 8th, 2013. This is the uh, second segment. Uh, I've just consistently been moving still south here. Um, so, didn't have a whole lot planned today. You guys have already seen the nests and stuff, so I've just consistently been moving. Uh, along so that's I think what we'll do for these these segments just continue moving along and uh, so if I run across anything then then you get to see it with me been really quiet this morning except for a light breeze that comes through it was supposed to be 94 degrees today so I'm really hoping that uh, it, it stays cool look at this huh, oh, oh. huh. okay I just never know it takes you a second to figure out if something's been manipulated or if it's just natural. See those logs have been laid there. You can tell that that isn't logs just don't fall like that. Let's see if I can get over there and take a look. <clears throat> See this? You can see no prints, but you know, again, something's been. They laid this log right against this boulder, just like that. See, like this. Look at this piece of wood here. No reason in the world. There's no. Tr I mean, there's trees above me, but. A piece of wood like this. See, it's just been sat there. Boom. It's just sat there. No, uh, no real explanation for it. Wow. Some of these caves, one of these days I'm going to get the gumption and the guts to go exploring in them. They're so well hidden.
Whoa, look at this. Big old animal bone right there. Let's see if I see anything else. Looks like it's been here a while. Whoa. Yeah, it's been here a while. It's a big bone. Doesn't sound like a woodpecker, it's something hitting a rock. Yep, hear that? He's up on top of the canyon. Shiachukima! Are you with me? See, it stopped. See, a woodpecker, it goes on and on and on. He'll, he'll knock for hours. That's something hitting a rock up there. Interesting. So anyway, it's pretty cool find. Where'd that bone go? There it is. Let's see if I find any other type kill. That's a pretty good sized bone. It's a leg bone of a pretty good sized deer. You can see that they broke that off. It's been here a while though. It's kind of old. There's no marrow left. See that clacking just stopped. It didn't want to answer me. So an animal was killed in here somewhere. Yikes. Hard to traverse here. Star break or a star uh, design, and right below it, something big it likes to sit here. Pretty cool. This is where he ate his kill. See this? Look at that. That isn't natural. This is standard Bigfoot activity. Nobody, no human, has any. I've never. In all my time researching Sasquatch, I've ever had a human come forward and say, Oh yeah, I do that. I bend trees out in the forest and, and make medicine wheels, stars, just for, just for fun. Yeah, right, look at this. This is where he lays, right here. It's all you can see. I don't see a big print. So see, that bone was just up over here. I came down 
and boom. It's amazing how you, you find animal killer bones and you never have to look far. It's just a matter of digging around in a, in a thick forest. Most times you just bypass this stuff. But, uh, you know, I've since learned if there's animal kill, he sat down and ate it. But it looks like this was, uh, he slept here. So see this marking, I don't know if it's really a barrier. It's a pretty typical marking, you know, that we see across everywhere in everybody's research area. But he was sitting right there. Looks like there was a little rock. Maybe he was rock clacking with. But no footprint, just some indentations as you can see. Right there. It's not a real definable footprint. Really interesting. It's hard to say how long that's been there too, you know, you never know. Another break right here. It's about nine feet, eight feet right there. Right down. I just walked into it. See it? That's the same one, I think. Yeah, it is. It's the same one. See how well hidden that is? Look at that. Amazing. Just amazing. So quiet. Nobody's around. No hikers, no dogs. Now, there's the star I just found, see, right there. Animal bone. And just south is the nest. Looks like there's, you know, I haven't really explored up in there, so I think we'll hang out up here today. So here's the, uh, there's the ravine. See it? Comes all the way off the canyon, goes all the way down to the road. Imagine if a foot just tore off out of that nest, that'd freak me out. <laughs> that wouldn't be a, something I'd be looking forward to this morning. But I got out here, like I said, nice and early, so. Now see this, this is interesting because you can see little pieces of shale here, rock, have been broken. Interesting. Doesn't look like it's well. It's always hard to tell if they've added anything to the to the shelter to the nest since I've been back. But see that that marking right there, that X marking the animal bone, um, and then you come just over the ridge here, and here's the nest. This is Bigfoot activity here. This is a. Uh, it's it's pretty clear. I mean, anybody that. Uh, I spent enough time doing this knows, you know. There's only so much second guessing you can do. Well, let's see. Can turn through here for whatever reason. And here's our nest. See how the sun hits it? Gives it an eerie appearance. I can see right now a new stick has been added, some new stuff. So you remember the big log? Now there's another staff that's been laid against it, it looks like. There's them 
moss bedding. Okay. Um, it's hard to say if that was me last time. Because, you know, I've been tearing it up in here investigating this thing. But people wanted me to, to, to do this, so I'm going to do it at the request of the quote community <laughs> so let's so here we are here's the moss pillow bed right so let's just let's move some of these rocks and see see it's just rocks and dirt there's nothing in there there's a huge log see there's nothing here they just stack that to make a a bedding area pillow. It's just rock. There's no animal kill or anything in there. It's just dirt. Let's see. Nothing there. It's just basic dirt, so, you know. There's nothing, uh... Doesn't look like... You know, they've been here for a while. Of course, like I said, it's hard to say. You come back and it looks thicker. So I don't know if they've been here. They're going to notice I moved this log, so I might as well put it back. <clears throat> Pretty interesting. I still don't know where they got all that moss. Well, I mean, there is some moss on the rocks. But not a whole lot, you know. Oh, probably just right up there. Big patches. So, pretty cool. We found a new uh, star sign right back over here. There's an animal bone there and then uh, walked right into the nest. Technically, I mean, if I could, I could add to it for them if I wanted to, <laughs> which I may. They may not use it again, though. It's hard to say. This is the top of it. See if you climb up on top, you got this boulder field here. You can just overlook everything from right above it. It's facing east, so in the morning when the sun comes up, see how the sun hits it? It warms it up. Is pretty cool. Other side of the canyon there. So <sighs> you know with this terrain, even with as good a camera, let's say as uh, old Jimmy a uh, timber giant there has he has good stabilization on his. This terrain is so damn rough. <laughs> Marching across these boulders and stuff. I don't even think that would be able to stabilize that camera in this area. It's a hole. Something's been removed, a rock or something. It's kind of weird, you know. Look back over here. Wow. Oh. 
and I keep seeing another possible nest over here. <laughs> like I said though, there has to be another one. See, look. See that right there? Just looks like a big giant tree fell over, of course, or it was knocked over. But when the branches fall like that, it makes a blind and it can kind of be added to. Animals really like that. And then you have two tree breaks right here, right next to each other. One and two, almost the exact same height. Pew, pew. So, you know, that's pretty, pretty interesting back there. It just looks like a tree fell, but you know, that's one of those things you, like this nest, you know, I didn't see it till I came right up on it. So from a distance, you know, I've been learning to try and spot these little nest blinds. And then go and investigate them. Just aimlessly marching around uphill now. No set direction. Just hoping to find something else interesting. Doesn't look like there's been any activity this morning at that nest. Smell something. So a couple coyotes off in the distance yipping. Or somebody has a dog. Of course, like I said, you know, it's Sunday. So the park will get busier later down by the water. So, you know, I'll get human voices where you can hear them off in the distance the way sound carries. You know, sound carries very distinctly through a canyon. So you never really know how far something or someone is away. Some of the tree knocks, the knocking that I've gotten have been like across the canyon. You can hear it just go coo, 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 kind of echo along the canyon wall. So it's always very hard to determine where something's coming from. Um, which is another good security thing that they have going on. Because it makes it very hard for anyone to pinpoint where they're at. Of course, this, if this is your home and you know you know how the sound carries and where it carries, so you know I'm gonna try getting back really deep today, away from where any kind of humans, uh, you know, may even stray. Which I think I've kind of shown they didn't come up this way. There's another possible two logs and an axe. But we haven't really ventured up top here, so let's do that. Let's see how hard it is anyways to get up there. Like I said, part of the problem is I want to, you know, a lot of people get mad because I'm all over the place with the camera, but uh, even with a tripod, you know, like I said, this is steep. Take a break here in a little while.
interesting area up here. Looks like there's a cave up top. I want to go check it out. Great, I hear a plane again. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. So such nice places to hide. There's another little cave here. Looks like you could lay up in that. Again, against this boulder outcropping. Something's been laying here. You can just see it, it's huge. So, I climbed up top, top of the canyon, and our friend in the plane has decided to come back from last week. So I'm gonna just continue working along. If I find something interesting, I'll start another segment. <sighs> so this is what is above the nest when you get up here to the top of the canyon. You know, judging by the size of that guy that was in the road, you would think I would get, you know, better prints, but you know, as I've told people, it's they don't 